Dan Smith here, director. I'll be doing some audio commentary for this re-release of the movie. Oh, uh, wait, not yet. Sorry, sir, this is just the DVD menu. The movie hasn't started yet. What's up, my beard bros? Today is Sunday, fun day. And today on our Sunday agenda, we have the Deadly Tower of Monsters. Free currently on the PSN with PS Plus. It's a uh, one gigabyte down or 1.9 gigabyte download. So if you have a little bit of extra room, perfect game to pick up. Made, as you can see at the bottom, made by the ACE team, developed by ACE team, produced by Atlas. Licensed and published by Atlas USA Inc. So far, the opening picture right there looks really solid. Oh, I see you dug up the original movie poster. Oh boy, that takes me back. Okay, it's got audio control. Okay, I like that. Wait, whose volume does that control? Okay, you can be choose between DVD and VHS. That's kind of cool. Post processing. We digitally cleaned up the old 35 millimeters. Much nicer now, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, actually, I hadn't noticed. It looks all right. Okay, it's recommended. I'll use the VHS never controls. I out all these DVD options. I tell you, watching movies has become complicated. The pause button, I know that one. This narrator is awesome. Okay, so it looks like to shoot, you use R1. To pause would be the options button, which is typical. Air teleport, L1, swap ranged weapon up, previous power left, swap melee weapon down, next power right. Okay, so left and right, or swap, or go to your powers, and the weapons are up and down. Melee attack is square, jump is X, which is typical for games. Special power is triangle, and parry roll is circle. Hey, is this thing on? Can you hear me all right? Yeah, all good. All right, uh, we're going to start the commentary track now. I love this narrator. It's hilarious. It's To me, it kind of almost seems like a new concept in video games. Like, it almost seems like a 1950s, 1960s movie. And I kind of wish they had a, a few more games like that. Hello, Dan Smith here. I directed this film back in, uh, well, it feels like a century ago. God, the... Yeah. The studio asked me to provide a commentary track for the DVD release. And wham, straight into the action. No fluff or anything. That's what we did back then. Crash landed ship. Out pops our hero, the fearless Dick Starspeed. Dick Starspeed? That's fucking hilarious. In which space explorer Dick Starspeed? I love how the graphics are so good. They look perfectly like a 1950s, 1960s movie. Okay, so you can break open these boxes. The ship's velocity reactor is damaged. I believe that I am stranded on an alien planet. Ooh. Played, of course, by actor Jonathan Digby. Went on to some minor roles after this. Uh, such a shame. I thought from day one, this guy's got leading man written all over his face. Let's see. Up, down. No, I don't have anything on up yet, so I can't switch. Okay, so you can break a box by rolling through it. That's kind of awesome. Little mini map in the bottom right. I like that. I like it. I am Dick Starspeed, and I come in peace. Probably shouldn't have had oh Dick Cross weapon when he was talking about peace. Well, maybe one day we'll go back and see G it into a sandwich or something instead. Ha! Ah, just kidding. And this is what people pay to see. 
Fucking. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking Such whip their ass. And the extras in those robot suits really knew how to take a punch. Oh, literally. I told Jonathan not to hold back. Give it all to him. Kick him in the nuts and bolts. <laughs> <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. We handled it responsibly. We made them all sign waivers not to sue for injuries. Oh, okay. it smokes. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Ah. If I land squarely on that grain silo, I should, I should survive, survive this fall and skate. Well, I shouldn't say this now, but you could actually see the strings if you squinted hard enough. A screen I tell you what, that's still gonna fucking hurt. Days. You put a grain silo or some haystacks down, and it solves all your gravity-related problems. Okay, what do we got over here? I'm a explorer. It appears some of my equipment in my sh What luck. Okay, so this you can fast forward with X. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, and hey, hello. Anything over here? No, no, oh, no. <laughs> Looks like I activated the checkpoint. Can I beat up some dinosaurs? You just don't see quality stop motion like this anymore, do you? Someone actually sat there and moved them frame by frame. Today, it'd be done with computers, but where's the artistry in that? <laughs> Beat the fucking crap out of that dinosaur, that's what I did. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this game. It seems really fun. If you got the PSN, I highly recommend it just for, um, not nostalgia purposes, but, uh... Well, it's because they are. I took them from the set of my last film, Vampire Island 2. Oh, we got fucking ray guns here, too? Uh, this is just this is just awesome. Nasty letters from Holy shit! Complaining about our portrayal of the dinosaurs was news to me. Apparently, these stegosauruses weren't meat eaters. Must have preferred shellfish or something. Wow, how do they know? That's what I say. Yeah, shoot him with a ray gun. Okay, so you can dodge the shockwave. Oh, this is epic. I love the graphics of this game. It it does kind of make it seem like one of those old, stupid ass, 1950s movies. But not stupid in the sense that hey, it's a bad movie. Just stupid in the sense that. As usual, the local population is defenseless. That's where our hero steps in and saves Ow. the day. It does a, it, it looks like it might auto target. Not quite a hundred percent positive on that yet. Silver cog. I don't know what the hell that is. Wait, can I melee these pots? If Zelda has taught me anything, it's melee pots. Melee all the pots. <laughs> okay, so that's what it looks like when you pause it. Okay, it looks like an actual, actual movie, so that's cool. Okay, they're fucking shooting arrows at me, that ain't cool. Looks like it slightly auto aims. Been a lot shooting this film. He wasn't the best actor, especially when reacting to getting hit. <laughs> He's what you call a flincher. So I told the stuntman to really just go to town on him. It's the only way to get an honest performance sometimes. Our props master tried to make the weapons soft, but there's only so much you can do. Lucky for us, Dick's entire body was covered in that space suit. That thing was a lifesaver when it came to hiding bruises. Oh, this, um... 
this story just seems fucking hilarious. Oh my god. I'm loving it, loving it. You'll notice the gold disappears when Dick touches it. We had a deleted scene that explained he's actually teleporting it back to his ship. It's funny, no one ever questioned how Dick was able to walk around with an infinite amount of gold on him. <laughs> you know what they should do? PSN should make a movie that actually like pokes fun at this game too, or this studio should. I mean, it's a genius idea. Make one of these mocking films and then actually release as like maybe a $2 DLC for the game. Or ever. It just seems like it'd be we had to not a hugely profitable idea, but it just seems like it'd be a cool was, idea. Uh, kind of I mean, disaster. you can still keep it in this cartoony effect, so it wouldn't cost too much. I it cut down on the costume budget a bit. But have you ever tried working with apes? They are the worst actors ever. They don't sit still for a moment. And the second you take your eyes off of them, they're flinging their feces all over the place. Are they? They're, they're actually Jonathan throwing their shit at me. Holy shit. Sir, sir, I don't want well, your let's, shit. Let's just say I can't handle your shit anymore, sir. More than a couple of showers. I, I don't even think those are apes. And they hit each other. You know, you never forget the smell of monkey poo. We steam clean the studio top to bottom. Still <laughs> never got rid of it entirely. Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna... Shot, we kept finding those little surprises hiding inside various props. Boy, <laughs> I, I might boy, lose it days. by the end of this. This is just... I don't, I don't know how to, how to say it. It's just fucking hilarious. I don't even know if I'm going in the right area. I don't know, sir. I don't know, sir, monkey. Okay, so I have 6,300 gold. Okay, that's good. Sir, I shall call you Sir Fluff, Sir Monkey Butt. Oh, I, uh, I was gonna go up there, but now I'm just fucking gonna smash a whole shit ton of pots. Hey, yeah, roll through the pots. Okay, so that brought me up to 7,089 million dollars. And yes, did, didn't you know that's how I say 50 is Majillion. The fuck is that thing? Oh fuck! I ain't want to be no sacrifice. Some really top-notch stop-motion effects, huh? Unfortunately, we skimped on the Dick Star Speed puppet a little. That's a doll. That is hilarious. Oh, there's a lady. This was groundbreaking. We had the woman rescuing the man for once. We were really ahead of our time with this scene, but well, then again, I've always been rather progressive. The studio exec didn't seem to get why it was such a big deal, though. Sorry, we don't see this as anything unusual. Ha! Of course, it's unusual. A woman would never save the man. It just doesn't happen. Not in the movies, not in real life. That's a little sexist. Recognition for this scene. Well, I guess I was just a little too ahead of my time. Okay, I guess there's aliens now. We're supposed to be seeing Dick and Scarlet's first dialogue Thank you scene for here. Strange woman. What is your name? I am the magnificent Scarlet Nova. <laughs> question my motives just be happy that you are still alive I must speak with my father at once I shall teleport to his chambers huh? where is this place this is not my father's chambers <laughs> you have disobeyed <laughs> Booster usage. Jump. Wait. Wait. Use booster. Sir. Oh, 
Oh, there's something I landed on. Holy shit, I almost died. Vertical ray gun? What does that mean? While standing near the edge, aim down. Uh, Scarlet didn't quite realize she needed to shoot those energy orbs down below. Keep in mind, Stacy was doing this on a sound stage, okay? Uh, yep, 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 yep. There is more. I was like, why aren't they going down completely? Yeah, they're sucking more. Okay, that's a cool concept. I mean, it's not unique. I didn't die. Ah! GMs, such a neat effect. We had to paint each movement frame by frame and superimpose it into live footage. We were pulling all nighters for weeks. Well, when I said we, I meant the artist. I am pretty much useless if I don't get a solid 10 hours a night. But they were at it forever. Eh, they had okay. to redo I won't show too much of this game in case instead of blue the first time uh, i won't um show too much of this game in case you actually want to play it yourself i don't know what the fuck i'm doing here Curses. my father revoked my access to the teleport terminals oh they're just passports there i should and i believe that's it for this area right here hey i'm looking back i remember oh Return. Puny Earthman, you shall help me overthrow the Emperor. Why would you turn against your own father? How do I know I can trust you? Oh, uh, this because scene. This is practically Shakespeare in outer space. Just as the entire planet does. And, uh... Earthman. Huh? <laughs> Patrick, what's wrong with the video? Ah, sorry, sir. Technical problems. Darn it. We're missing some really good writing here. There. Sorry about that. Well, we just <laughs> passed right by her big scene. Basically, they <laughs> agree to work together, but one must stay behind in the sleep chamber at all times. Oh, this is just epic. Should I rewind? Ah, uh, never mind. I'll continue from here. Okay, I got the checkpoint. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Might have another video up later for another game I downloaded recently. Like I said, I recommend you get this. It's an epic, epic game. And it's free. And it won't take long to download. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I was trying to push a new style of filmmaking. Have the hero do absolutely nothing from time to time. Okay, so the narrator's sarcastic while I'm making my head trouble. Fuck you. Anyway, guys, see you in the next video. Stay awesome. Remember, no shit in November. Peace.